In this video, we present the front-end layer for the XLAN project. This consists of two repositories, which live on github.com and EU. Uh, the two repositories uh, represent one layer for the services and one layer for the actual GUI components. So if you go to the services project, uh, we provide an architecture placing the front-end services as well as the uh, GUI components within the context of the whole project. So you can see uh, all the things that happen in the background. Uh, but essentially, this, uh, the services provides a unified REST API uh, as well as defining JSON objects, which can then be used by uh, components to render them and to interact with that information. Uh, and which can be used by applications to make it easy uh, to build new applications on top of the uh, XLINE project. So I won't say too much about the definition of the services. Uh, instead, I'll, demo I'll demonstrate the, uh, uh, the components so that you can get an idea of what's, uh, what can be rendered and what can be uh, shown. So if you go to the XLINE Polymer elements, uh, we provide a link to the documentation page for that uh, for those elements, um, where you can find uh, a list of all the elements uh, that we provide, uh, and for each of them we provide documentation as well as a demo. So I'll start by uh, the demo because then you can see what the the element looks like uh, when it's rendered. So in this case we have uh, a JSON object. And we have rendered it using the same XLAN value component in three different ways. Uh, in this case, for example, we render the label followed by a link, or we render it as a normal hyperlink, or we render it just the, the label, uh, depending on what your use case is. Uh, if you go to the document, uh, you can see examples of how this is meant to be included into your uh, HTML5 page. Because we are using web components, we basically just need to include uh, element tags uh, followed by a couple of attributes. So in this case, the object attribute uh, contains the JSON object, uh, which is then used for rendering the whole component. Uh, but most usefully, you will have uh, a reference to this JSON object in the form of a variable, in which case you can use it just like this. Uh, we also provide for each of the uh, components an API reference with the properties which allow you to uh, uh, manage how uh, how the the object should be rendered and how it should behave. So the XLINE value is obviously uh, a very simple uh, uh, element. Uh, if you go to a more complex element like the media item card, uh, this allows us to uh, to render uh, the media items that are supported in XLINE. So for example, we can uh, render a TV program where you can show the title and uh, a lot of metadata about that program and some description. We can use the exact same uh, component to also render an object. So this object is obviously more complex than the value. Uh, where you can render a social media item, in this case a tweet. Uh, so you can get the, the language, some other metadata, and you can also get some actions that allow you to go and visit the original tweet, for example. And the third type of uh, media items that we support are news articles. So in this case, you also get uh, a preview of the text and a link to the original article. So besides the media items, you can also uh, get annotations on top of those uh, media items, like uh, entities that have been mentioned in those media items, but also things like ASR annotations. So in this case, uh, in some TV program, this uh, text was uh, uh, was recovered using ASR. Uh, throughout the whole uh, component, we have versions which are items, which are meant to be uh, included as part of a list, but we also have cards. Uh, which provide a fuller overview of the, uh, the data that we have uh, on them. So, for example, for the subtitles, we provide here uh, a long text uh, telling us what, what the subtitles were in a particular segment of a TV program. Uh, besides uh, media items and annotations, uh, we also provide some more complex uh, components. In this case, we provide uh, a visualization of spheres 
which uh, basically uh, allow you to explore the data set. Uh, in this case, in the inner circle, we uh, have defined uh, Berlin the entity, uh, so it's an entity from DBpedia, and a third string of Samsung. Uh, we've sent that to the uh, front-end services, which has returned us this uh, rather large JSON object, um, which provides us with uh, relevant uh, other resources from Xlime. So in this case, we get uh, ASR, we get microblocks, we get subtitles, media items, uh, TV programs, but also many other um, entities which are related to this context somehow. So this concludes this uh, presentation about the front-end components in Xline. Thank you for viewing this until the end. Uh, we hope you find this useful and we are always welcoming uh, of feedback as well as contributions. Thank you.